All right, welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to deploy our smart contract on Ganache. Okay, and for that, we are going to make use of a couple of other tools as well. We'll be making use of Remix as well. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's get started. All right, so you see uh, how exactly a developer connects to Ethereum network is a couple of ways. First is they can make use of the uh, real network which is the main net okay in the main net uh, basically what happen is the developer the developer can connect to the ethereum network let's keep it this way and this is the ethereum network really looks like okay this is the one way of connecting to the ethereum network where they can connect to it directly and the problem is they have to pay the real money they have to pay the gas fee which is huge and it's not really advisable and nobody really do that the second option is the testnet okay uh, testnet is the one which is basically a replica it's basically a replica of the main net the actual ethereum network but that's where not really uh, it's not really a production ethereum not not the one where everybody talk and that doesn't require real gas gas fee in spite uh, in spite of sending the real ether you make use of fake ether fake ether which you get it for free as well as a part of faucets right but the point is again you have to do the transaction you have to you know there are a lot of other stuff involved you have to you know you have to ex deploy the contract and there are quite a lot of steps involved but it's not really that quick environment that developers are always looking for as a part of of course devops and all those you know uh, a rapid deployment testing mechanism right so the more favorable method is to uh, either they can make use of ganache of course they make use of both but more popular is the truffle and ganache okay but uh, we'll talk about it truffle in probably a next session but in this we'll be talking about ganache and this uh, basically in spite of connecting to the entire network entire ethereum uh, test network as a whole you basically connect to your own local uh, local ethereum network and where exactly it is you actually have it on your computer developer can have them on their local host itself so basically they talk to their own local host and this ganache is basically a software so the entire ethereum can be there on their own computer right so this is how it really looks like and it's not really going to be a big uh, you know setup it's really a lightweight but just for the testing purpose okay so without taking much time let's get started with it but just to make sure you really get a value out of it i'll be deploying the real smart contract okay all right so let's go to uh, remix remix is our ide for ethereum and we'll be making a very simple very very simple smart contract and we'll deploy and see uh, what's the response comes in okay so let's go to test probably we'll make use of some trust 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 smart contract okay and uh, let me maximize it a bit all right so before we even start we have to we have to specify uh, the uh, solidity version so we'll type pragma I'm sorry pragma solidity and the current word we can keep it anything higher anything higher than 0 0.8.0 and let's keep it simple for example I'm, um, I'm I'm trying to test or I'm trying to make a smart contract that just receive money okay that just ready to receive money from anywhere so anybody can send the money to the smart contract okay so let's let's build it okay so let's click contract and um, receive money okay uh, to contract itself so let me type just contract okay and um, now what you really need to have is to create a function and this function has to be a 
payable function because you see payable function will definitely be talking in the further section in a very much detail but for now just remember a function can be of multiple types it can be pure public uh, you know it can be view function private function in, internal function external function but for now remember this we'll be making use of function as a public why public because uh, usually we uh, we keep it public because we want the external application the maybe the react or the external application may want to talk to it right so in that case we keep it as public we can also make use of external as well but external it only ensure that it can only allow to talk to the external party not to the uh, internal but you of course can make use of any one of them but i'll make use of public in that case okay but always remember you also have an option of external as well right so you say receive money that's it okay and i'll just keep it public and i'll make it pay okay so you say public because as i said you want to have the external uh, variables or function or in the react in the actual legacy application should be able to talk to the uh, uh, you know back end smart contract right and then i can just close it right and that's pretty much i can my contract is done i can simply compile it and it's pretty good oh you see a warning here it's basically because you always need to ensure that you specify the license for this it's sp the license is spdx and you need to make sure uh, which license you are you know making use of so identifier i'm sorry that's i'll be making use of mit license identifier and then you mention that it is of mit okay and that should be good you see any error no that's perfect right it's green at this moment now we can actually uh, either we can make use of the inbuilt uh, virtual machine so we can keep the environment as it is and um, you have sample you have 10 sample accounts where these uh, don't don't get happy that you get all those ether 100 ether at this moment uh, but it, these are all sample and fake ether uh, uh, these are all sample accounts as well so you can make use of any account as a part of development um, i'll use the first account itself and because this contract is developed to receive the money so i can just send some ether maybe let's say two so what is going to happen is you are going to send some ether from your first account to smart contract and this is how it should should look like as well if it it looks different from what i, I just said then we should we actually have some problem okay so let's deploy it okay but at this moment we, we are not sending some money so let's keep it aside let's keep it zero and let's just deploy it and um, you see you got receive money here okay receive money is the function name but now let's uh, we have deployed the smart contract now, now let's send some money let's send a two ether so if if a two ether is should be transmitted or should be debited from the first account it should be 97.9 ether after that right and once you do that just hit to the function which is meant to receive the money okay click that you see the money has been debited from the first account now it is 97.9 and how can i verify that the smart contract the smart contract received that money so this is where you can get to see you know uh, let me do something for okay perfect so now you see all the transaction all the events has been generated and this is the transaction log basically and this is the latest log the first one was the deploy the moment we deployed the smart contract the second one is the latest one here you can see that this is the status which says okay it was executed that's why you see the green and this is the transaction hash by making use of it you can verify and trace any transaction 
Of course, in the Ethereum Remix environment, it doesn't make sense. But in the real environment, whenever you perform any transaction, you can trace any transaction by using this transaction hash. Okay, so the address from uh, the source address is this, uh, the 5838 or something, 5B38, which is exactly what we have here, right? And the two, the send, uh, the disk, this is the name of our smart contract. You see this receive money contract, receive money contract, right? This is the name of contract and this is the function. That's why you see the dot name of the function. Remember this every there are two kind of accounts. Okay. There's externally owned account, which is this, which is normally owned by users. And there's another account called smart contract account. So yes, smart contract also have also has an account that's why they can they can receive money if you can only receive money or only if you have an account right so that's why you can send money from uh, from externally owned account like any user account to smart contract so in the world of blockchain or ethereum smart contract also act as an user as well okay on certain level there's some gas fee and everything, but what is really important is the value. You see this VAL, that's a value. And this is the, this is the value, right? So this is the in way, which is equal to the, uh, to ether, right? So I think you got the idea about how we can uh, perform the transaction on, on Remix and how can we can verify. But the purpose of this video was to do the transaction on, um, on Ganesh, right? So in order to perform the same transaction on Ganesh, uh, what we can do is we, on the environment, we just need to select Web3 provider, right? The moment you do that, it saves some parameters. It says a node, you can to use Git, or this parameters and uh, a couple of other warnings as well. What is really important is the Web3 provider endpoints. Now for this to test, uh, we'll have to open our Ganache and test it as well. All right, so you can see we have opened our Ganache and um, we have to make sure our Ganache is ready to talk on the same uh, uh, same port as well. So we can quickly start. Okay, wonderful. So make sure the port number is same as here. So 8545. Okay, perfect. So as it is same, you can go ahead and Keep it okay and now whatever you execute will be executed on Ganesh right so at this moment you don't have any transaction right so keep it open here and now let's send some more ether to our smart contract our smart contract is ready to get ready to you know get all the money you have right um, so we specify two and now let's receive some more money okay but before that uh we need to make sure give me one second okay so sorry that's two and uh, we'll click on uh we'll have to specify deploy i think i'm not sure why it got removed but usually it's there for once and now let's deploy to, uh, now let's send to ether to it and i'll say receive money and once i do that i should get a transaction in here you see i first deployed this smart contract right i first i redeploy the redeployed the smart contract that's why you can see the contract creation but there wasn't any value here right but now when i click on the receive money i should get a value right so perfect could you see this a uh, new transaction has been created and this is the value sender is this and this is the contract address which has to be same which is in fact the same address as you can see here you can see the contract address in here and here is same the sender address is exactly the same 0x060 perfect and the value is 2 right there are gas limit gas price and gas use as well right there's nothing free in this world right but of course our video is our knowledge is and everything around it 
all right so i think you got the idea about how to integrate ganache and how to deploy your smart contract on both ethereum and even on ganache as well i hope you like the video if you have any question about it you can ask me in the comment i would be happy to answer that thank you